give a quick little update. I don't want to chat for too long because it's boring. So basically, I it's been a long time and I haven't vlogged in like two months. I got to England almost two months ago. I got married last week. There's just been so many things going on and I have a lot of footage from it. But as I was like putting it together and editing it, I was like, it just like something about it didn't feel very on brand, if you know what I mean. So I just decided to keep it for myself. So that's that. We did record our wedding. Um, just on my vlog camera that I'm using right now. I don't know how much of that I will post on YouTube just because it's like it was a really small intimate ceremony and like we kind of just did it to have the memories to look back on um, but I know obviously there are some people that are asking for some wedding content um, and I do want to wait until I get the professional pictures back so we'll see. I'll let you know. I'll keep you updated with all of that but I did get my hair done for the first time in England, so I'm very proud of myself. I just got like a half or a partial um, highlight the night before the wedding last week, so she did a great job. Um, I conquered my fear of like being able to go to a different person for my hair because I've been going to the same person for like years. So, happy 2023. It's a new year. I know it's January 11th, um, but don't forget to subscribe and I hope you enjoy this video. Say hi to the vlog. What's up? This lighting is not good. What? You never have Yeah, I had the best lunch. So I didn't eat that pasta. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try pasta tomorrow. You think it'll still be good? Well, freaking hope so, darling. I'm I was, having it. I, okay. Is it cold? It's not too bad. What cheese? The truffle cheese. Yeah, that truffle gouda. Oh, is it gone? Yeah. Have you used it? Yeah. I like sliced it and put it in there. Melted it, put it with some of the... The truffle cheese. Did I have some of that? Yeah, it was on the cheese board. Dang it, I can't remember. You can't remember? No. Are you ready? You guys like my new coat? Let's go. Here's a little haul. Got some little cheesy crackers to dip in our smoked salmon pate. Some blueberries, rosemary, dill, basil, and then we got some green apples. And that's it. Whenever you buy herbs from this place, they just last so long and they're like really not that much more expensive, so. I don't hungry me. You can never see your face. I have a stand back. I had a hat on, so my first question. Let's try this. Well, I like it. Yeah, pretty good. How's your first Wednesday as a married man? Busy. <laughs> Busy. Glad to get home so we can watch football tonight. Oh, that's what we're doing? No, we've got um, Man City, but what happened there? Oh. Yeah. Um, Man City boy tonight. We're married. Surprise. <laughs> I haven't got a ring. You haven't got it back yet? No. <laughs> it makes me nervous. I should have gotten him one of those like rubber rings off of Amazon. I'm not wearing one. I'm not having it. Yeah, but you're not responsible to have a real one. I don't know why I bought you one. <laughs> he lost it, literally. On... Monday? He had it for two days and he lost it. What do you have to say to yourself? Wait, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> we had the ring. It was it was lost for like ten minutes, that was it. Oh. It was a stressful ten minutes. It'll be interesting to see how long they last. The herbs. <laughs> yeah. The herbs. I love it. That is what they're called, herbs. I know, it's just cool the way how you say it. How do you say it? Herbs. Herb. Herbs. I can make fun of you. Herbs. Herbs and spices. Yeah, but you also say a fillet steak. 
It's yeah. a fillet. A fillet steak. You say, say, what do you say, buffet? Say buffet. Buffet. What? <laughs> yeah, there's a buffet on. But why do you, but you don't say fillet. You say fillet. Mm hmm. hard to find a good angle in here because if I set it up over here well that's not that bad but like that lighting from the window is like pretty intense so I think it's better to go this way this ice roller is from Amazon it's not the skinny confidential one okay I know I'm late to the party on that one but I'm like $60 for an ice roller that's a bit out of pocket I think but who knows, I could get it and it could be life changing. But this $12 Amazon one I think does pretty good. I'm gonna blow dry my hair eventually, but since it's so dry on the ends, I put this, I mean, nothing's gonna focus. I don't have the time. Um, I put this Kerastase elixir in the ends and then I wrap it up in this towel. This is literally the best thing ever like I've noticed a huge change in my hair cuz towels like like the difference in this is insane this is just like a regular bath towel and to think that I was like using that on my hair before obviously it's not a necessity but it does make a huge difference it has like this little thing so it stays in place whenever you put it up so I like to put the product in and then put it up and let it kind of marinate for lack of a better word in there and then I blow dry it. And there's the hair routine that nobody asked for. I just got a package. So I'm opening it. My mom got me a Selfridges gift card for Christmas. And I had some money left on it. We actually went to Selfridges whenever we dropped her back off at the airport in Manchester. I bought some stuff then, but I had some money left, so I hope these are the right size. Oh, no. I knew that would happen. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I'm a genius. Okay, so I love Lululemon Align leggings, and they sell Lululemon at Selfridges, and I just love this, like, neutral brown color. I was so confused, though, because UK sizing, it's a 10, because I'm like a size four or six. I usually like to get a six in leggings, but UK sizing is different and I could not find like the conversion. So I just guessed that a 10 would be a six. So I'm a genius. I just love the fabric. And I've tried like aloe, sweaty Betty, literally like splits 59, so many good athletic brands and nothing will ever compare to Lululemon to me. Like Lululemon Align leggings are just, the best freaking fabric ever and the high waist love them and then I also got these jeans which my mom saw on the sale rack at Selfridges and they're page jeans and they're really cute you can't really get like the feel for them they're just like kind of like vintage straight jeans I had to get them in a size up because they were only 50 pounds and they're usually like 200 and something pounds. These were 50 pounds on the sale rack and I'm usually a 27, but I got a 28 and so the waist is just like a little big, but I'm gonna get them altered. So I'm so excited. I wanna put my new leggings on. Here are the leggings. They're literally just like the best material ever. They feel like butter. They're like almost like a chocolate brown, just like a little bit lighter. And I have to get the cropped ones, but they literally go all the way down to my ankles and they're like bunched up on the bottom because I'm so short, but 
they are the 25 inch i'm like looking at myself in the mirror <laughs> we're going to make a return and this is jack's backing i'm documenting it they'll accept that that'll get their safe and sound so <laughs> it just looks so funny <laughs> let's rock and roll These are our Saturday night plans with movie. If you know, you know. And the dogs. And if you know, how about our little chopsticks thingies? There we go. It says stolen from Ivy Asia, mm -hmm. which is like our favorite sushi restaurant. Hello. It's a new day. What's that song? It's a new day. It's a new life. I don't even remember the last time I vlogged, but you know what? I'm sick of waiting, you know? I'm like sick of being like, you know, I think I'll just vlog tomorrow and just procrastinating. So here it is. This is kind of embarrassing because I'm like, I need to clean, but it kind of gets me motivated to clean when I'm like filming myself, you know? So that's kind of the reasoning behind this, but this is our current wardrobe situation. Um, notice that I have three full shelves and Jack has his stuff like shoved up there. Um, but it's like folded, I understand, but it's so unorganized. So I just need to like take everything out and go through it and don't even look at the shoes. Um, but today's Friday. Cheers to the freaking weekend, almost. You're sitting on a plant, so I don't know if you can hear. That is my washer. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, okay, ignore that. It's Friday, and I was like, we need to do a lot of organizing this weekend. Like, a lot of our cabinets in the kitchen and drawers are just overwhelming and I can't I can't handle it any longer and the same with our wardrobe I want to actually go to either like home sense probably not Ikea because that just stresses me out but somewhere I wish we had a container store in England but something that somewhere I can get like containers to organize things in probably gonna do that this weekend and yeah I'm just sick of like procrastinating vlogging that's literally what I keep doing so here we go curious like how many pairs of gray and like light colored sweatpants is too much you know what I mean like it's clearly looking a lot better but I'm just like I don't know I'm just confused as to how I should organize open shelves so if anyone has shelves like that and has any ideas let me know I like never really put makeup on but I got some new products because I was out of some things so I did my makeup today and it looks like no makeup makeup but it looks good so I'll show you what I got the main things that I was needing was like concealer setting powder and then I wanted to get a new brush because I feel like I've had my brushes for a disgustingly long time so this is what I ended up getting. I got this a couple of weeks ago, but I'll mention it because it's on the top of my makeup bag. But I got this Refi Glow and Sculpt Primer. I didn't actually use it today because I just was like doing, I was just doing like light makeup. And wow, my hair's really not popping off today. Um, but it's good. Not too much to say, to be honest. And then I got this Rare Beauty Highlighter in Enlighten. 
and it's nice. I thought it was gonna be like a balm, but it's like powder. But it's nice, I put it on my eyelids too, so keep you updated. And then I always like getting travel size setting powders. I feel like setting powders are kind of hard when you have like combination skin, like oily and dry. So I usually guess just get a trial one and then try it out. But I got this Huda, 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 Huda Beauty, Huda. what the heck? Whatever beauty. Baby bake, loose baking and setting powder and pound cake. That was too much for me. My memory card was full, so perfect. Anyways, this brush, I used it for my like tinted moisturizer and cream bronzer. Great. And then, let's see, one, two, three, four. And then the last thing I got, if I can find it, I got this Milk Makeup Concealer, the Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer. It is thick, like really thick. You know, we're actually, Jack and I are going to dinner tomorrow night, so I'll probably do a little bit of makeup and I can record that so you can see what the products are like when I put them on, but this is really thick and it's super light online. I like kind of guessed it wrong. It's nicer under the eyes, but I can't use it to like cover up blemishes right now because I'm not even tan so I honestly need to get a new shade but it's good for under the eyes that's that so bye all I'm saying is if you have a dryer in your house count your blessings because having just a washer and no dryer is something that I've had to adapt to for sure but it's just like one of those cultural differences. I don't know if it's because they're not energy efficient or why they're not as popular in the UK, but no. Having a dryer is a rarity. And in America, everyone's got a dryer. And like, I hear people complaining about how they can never catch up on laundry. And I'm like, just biting my tongue because we have to wait for our clothes to dry on the rack before we can do a new load. I guess we could buy another rack, but it's just like a long thing, you know? It would be easier if we had a wood-burning fire, which we definitely want in our next house, because then you can just put them by the fire and they dry really quickly. Um, and I guess in the summertime, it's easier because you can hang dry them outside, but in the wintertime, not easy. And I don't know about you, but my situation growing up, like I had to wear a uniform to school and if my uniform wasn't clean, it was like the night before 10 p.m. or sometimes like early morning, throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer, go to school or like a basketball uniform. Like I just, I can't imagine my mom right now with my two brothers having all the clothes that they go through and the stuff that they need and like they're irresponsible. So they literally tell her like minutes before they need something washed that she needs to wash it. Um, but I can't imagine what they would do without a dryer. They would be wearing wet clothes literally all the time. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my podcast episode on dryers. I can give some more life updates while I make this smoothie, okay? You're probably like, great, I'm gonna skip through. What are the life updates? Basically, this is February. I filmed the last vlog in January. Well, I filmed like the last clip of the vlog in January. I just haven't been feeling it lately, you know what I mean? I would say the main update, it's not really an update though because it could literally come to nothing. Jack and I have been looking at houses. We need to get someone into our house first before we like seriously consider moving in. But we have gone to a couple of houses that we've seen online and it's been fun. I'm not gonna lie, okay? We don't really know. It's probably not gonna happen before the summertime, but we love our house. It was like the perfect first house for us. And it still is, like we could manage living here but we do want a little bit more space. We only have two bedrooms and it's like 
an office. Like my office is not a full bedroom. You could fit like a twin bed in there and that's it. Um, and just for more space, our like dining room is technically in the living room because we have our little table there with the couch. Like we just want a little bit more space, you know? Um, that's all, I feel like I don't need to justify that, but we've been looking and it's been fun. That's the main update. Um, I've also bought some books on Ayurvedic nutrition, Ayurvedic medicine, and that's been really fun for me. I thought a lot about going to the Integrative Nutrition School. I know that that has like nothing to do with marketing. I feel like my major, my degree from Ole Miss like has helped me so much and I'll be able to like market myself if I wanted to go into that side of things. Um, so I wouldn't say it was for nothing. I had a really great experience, but I am considering doing that. We'll see. Those are kind of the life updates. I don't know. Who knows what we're doing with our life. And nutrition's always been something that I've like been passionate about. When I hear things on like podcasts or read it in books, like I just absorb all of it. And it's something that like I always want to tell my friends about. I always want to tell my family, Jack, like I'm just always talking about it. I mean, that probably means something, you know, like I am passionate about it. So that's kind of why I'm leaning towards it. I care a lot about it and, but I don't know. What do you guys think I should do? Let me know. Okay, cheers. For those that can get to Grantley Hall and experience this, don't be messing around, don't be wasting time, get your send down here, use discount code KMUNK. <laughs> here we are. Me and my husband. Oof. Good night. Good night. Good morning. We're getting ready to go. Jack just took some measurements of our cabinets and we're getting organized today. Here we are. The house is honestly a mess, but it's okay. It does need sorting out this like. Yeah, this is the before. Like, that's embarrassing, you know? <laughs> that's embarrassing. We need some organizers. We measured the closet shelves under the bathroom sink. So, feeling good. And we're getting Starbucks on the way, so you know I'm a happy girl. <laughs> Here's our mini grocery haul. I just put tomatoes in the fridge, but sweet chili sauce, cream cheese, custard creams, cause that was Jack's selection. Tortilla chips, breadcrumbs, wraps, artichokes, coleslaw, fish cakes, smoked salmon, shrimp, chicken, and salmon. And here's everything that we got from B&M. I thought these were cute for like tea, coffee, sugar. And then for little like chia pudding or like yogurt parfaits. We want to go get our own spring water so we got this glass bottle. And then just a bunch of organizing things. 
trays. So we'll see how it goes. Hello. I'm gonna show an update of the cabinets. Woo! I don't even remember if I showed the before, but that's looking good. And, ow. And <laughs> this looks messy, but like, it's not, you know? There's like one container there, another container there. And that's all of our sushi making stuff. And then all the wraps at the, or like tin foil and stuff like that at the back. I put, it's kind of dark, these two containers here with like spices and things and these are all like sauces and condiments so feeling good and now we're about to make some blueberry muffins for the week so it's not like a healthy recipe or anything we just like blueberry muffins and i want to bake february is a good time to bake you know valentine's day cakes just been in a baking mood so Okay, you can also put two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm getting good. is very messy but we just made dinner we air fried shrimp with like breadcrumbs on them and then made a little bang bang sauce it's mayo sweet chili sauce and sriracha and then put some lettuce and coleslaw on top I didn't make the coleslaw we just got this deli style coleslaw and it's good this is like we've made this a lot actually haven't we yeah it's decent it's quick and easy so, yeah and it's, it's good. so tasty the shrimp only takes like eight minutes in the air fryer so that's what we're doing and we just eat in here because it's like you're like making them in the air fryer but only so many fit in the air fryer so you don't want to like wait till they're all done so yeah. we just sit and stand here and eat it but <laughs> anyways that's our Sunday night and then we're gonna watch Love Island indeed have you seen the blueberry muffins yeah I've the they've seen muffins. them unreal yeah. yeah well tasty so good okay good night Take a night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>